Each person must identify oneself. Each person... This past Monday night, the Hopkinton Board of Health hosted two public hearings. The first public hearing was to consider adoption of a reduction in single-use plastic checkout bags. The regulation bans single-use plastic checkout bags at any retail or grocery store within the town of Hopkinton. Yeah, I think on, on some levels, we're sort of behind a lot of other communities as far as like uh, a lot of these ocean communities. So, for example, um, my sister and brother-in-law live on Block Island and they have recently banned plastic straws and also balloons. They're not allowed to release balloons at weddings and stuff. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, and well, the reason with that, they don't mind regular balloons, but helium filled balloons, they go up in the air and they land in the ocean. And my brother-in-law is actually a professional fisherman. So he said, yeah, they show up in my nets. Um, so, you know, something as simple as plastic bags, it's really a first step, I think, towards doing the right thing. After no protest at the public hearing, the Board of Health voted unanimously to pass the regulation. To close the hearing for a vote. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? Second. All right. What? No, I said all right. Motion to approve the regulation. Oh, well, that would be the second. So I'll move to approve the regulation as written. Thank yes. You. Second. So there we have it. There we it's have done. it. Done. Done. The motion passes. The Board of Health will be enforcing authority to ensure that all retail and grocery store businesses within Hopkinton comply with the regulation. Fines will be administered for violations, $100 for the first violation, $200 for the second violation, and $300 for the third violation. The regulation is expected to go into effect January 1st, 2019. The second Board of Health public hearing discussed increasing the purchase age of smoking and tobacco products from 18 to 21. The proposed regulation also includes non-tobacco nicotine delivery products such as electronic cigarettes and nicotine vaporizers. Several residents spoke in favor of the proposed regulation. Okay. I am in fifth grade and moved to Connecticut in August 2016. Last year in my fourth grade health class, I learned that Hopkinton is not in the tobacco toy homeless. After that class, I came home and went and wrote a letter to our town of selectmen asking for support of getting Hopkinton on the tobacco toy homeless. As you may know, the selectmen invited me to their meeting. I shared my letter there. They supported looking into making this happen. As follow-up shared, the Board of Health is the place to start. I am here today because I believe that is important to our town. Tobacco is not good for your health and other people's health. I learned that kids who start smoking at a very young age do stick with it. and. I think that we should all be 21 and older to buy tobacco, but hope that no one will ever buy, want to buy tobacco and make people's health at risk from smoking. It can make anyone sick and get lung cancer. Please help thinking get on the Tobacco 21 list, and please try getting this law passed in Hopkinton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Logan. Thank you. That was extremely well written and I appreciate your input tremendously and having, you know, two teenagers myself, I see this and it's not so much the cigarettes as it is the e-cigarettes, the e it's the jeweling. Um, it's become a massive problem and every town around us with the exception of Milford, all of our other neighboring towns have all gone to 21. So what has happened? Hopkinton is now the place to go. Everyone knows, go to Mobile in Hopkinton on 85, it's right off the highway they're going to sell to you if you're underage. So as soon as I heard that as a parent of two teenagers, um, and since it's 18 and so many of the high school kids are 18, you actually have this whole secondary market going on at the high school now where you have seniors buying up the stock at, you know, at the local gas station and selling them to other kids in the high school. And I do right. think the two things here, what was missing in our law was anything around vaping or e-cigarettes. Yeah. It was only old tobacco transmission, so we've amended, not only is the age raised from 18 to 21, but the regulation is amended 
to include those non-tobacco products. Mm -hmm. So it's a twofer. And it was then passed unanimously by the Board of Health. We've heard from everyone that we're going to hear from. The proposal also adds all non-tobacco nicotine delivery products to current tobacco regulation and laws in Hopkinton. The date the regulation will go into effect was amended to July 1st, 2018. Is it a bylaw or regulation? I'm sorry. Regulation. regulation. Approves the regulation um, as amended and rewritten to include non-tobacco products and raising the age to 21, mm -hmm. um, effective July 1, 2018. I second that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Aye. Aye. Excellent. Wonderful.